to set the bed blades and loosen all these up. I actually just flipped these because this is the original edge. It's kind of kind of dull. This is a cutting edge on the bottom of that on this side. It's on the top of this side. I flipped this one also. Uh, got your adjusters. Allen wrench goes in there. You want to adjust that gap. Uh, the specs for mine happen to be between six and eight thousandths. You adjust it in. I actually check the gap right at the edge. For some reason, the ends. For some reason, the ends of the blades are a tighter gap than the center. Don't know why. It just happens to be the way it is. Same for down here. Uh, out in the center, it's still it was about eleven thousandths. But can't go any closer on the ends. It will hit. After you do that, after you flip them, if you flip them, tighten these down just snug. That way they don't slide around on you. And you can still adjust them with these just fine. Just makes it easier if they're snug. Uh, once you get them set, torque them back down. I torque these to 150 foot-pounds. Uh, actually, I this whole end was off. We had bearing go bad in the end. We had to have the rotor welded in and uh, turn back down to rate tolerances. I've actually retorqued everything on here to 150 pounds. That's a chute. Cumberland brand. That's the drive wheel. It's going to go on the end of the rotor. Oh, this goes, these go up above the blades, up above the bed blades. This one goes on the back. Thanks for looking.